Well, thank you for clicking on this episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpenings Before and After. A gentleman just brought a couple of pocket knives. Um, this one here, you know, it's kind of rough. I'm not sure if this is a homemade pocket knife or if they're trying to kind of like the little simple, simplistic scroll, scroll work there. I like the handle pin work. Um, it's, it's very, everything is very coarse. I'm not sure. Uh, if this is a custom made uh, knife or it's a store bought knife and they tried to customize it or what the, what the heck happened there uh, but we'll sharpen it up and, and uh, clean it up and lube it and show you the results of that when we return and they also brought me this little knife now it has an, um, a marking on it I'll be darned if I can see what it is I just cannot read it um, from any angle it's just very difficult I'll try once I get it cleaned up. I like the woodwork. It's kind of cool. Um, it's not, again, we're not uniform on anything. It's very coarsely done. Um, wondering if this was a, a homemade project. Kind of cool if it is. We'll show you our results when we return. Well, thank you for hanging in on this episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpening's Before and After. Those two pocket knives I was showing you a little bit earlier, well, I did finish those up. And remember, they were really crude shape. Now, the reason for that, the owner came back a little bit early and said that he bought them in Afghanistan and stood there and watched the guy, even did a little videotaping of the guy actually making these knives. So I think that's kind of cool. That's why there's no markings on them. <laughs> but uh, we did polish that up. We smoothed all of that out. It was really rough to the hand, I thought. So I thought, man, you know, it looked to me like they were customizing an already purchased knife. But uh, in actuality, it was a homemade knife in, in, um, in Afghanistan. And the other one turned out really nice. The little wood on there, the orange oil I put on there just brought the color out in that handle. And now you can um, open and close it for relatively easy. This one's a pretty tight one. This is a really good one. He, he did a pretty good job. Although he did uh, burn the metal in a few places, <laughs> and he said he only had one wheel, so I, it looked to me like it was probably about a 36 or a 60 grit wheel, and he did actually everything on the knife with that one wheel. And that's what makes the world go round here, Blade Runner Tool Sharpening Before and After. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, give us a like and share our Facebook page. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, with Blade Runner, there's never a dull moment.